Hello, welcome back to the Let's Play of Lost Zone. And like I said, the first time I'll just play it naturally, normally, and have fun. In the Iron Borrow, we had another dungeon, the Post Run Parallel, which was on the other side of the map. So I went over there to explore, and here we are. Oh, it's a lot of these guys, okay. No, it's too much dodging, I don't like fighting so many of them. That was it, they couldn't dodge. Well, I guess it's harder to dodge a turret, because usually these enemies will auto-dodge your uh, attack when you mouse over them, but... I guess they don't auto-dodge because of the turret. That's a curious design, either way. It just means they will dodge when you mouse over them, like this. But not when something else shoots at them. I love it when they run up to me like that. Well, I guess it's harder to dodge. Yeah, because of the bug that changes my guns when I put down the turret, I am forced to basically play with the nebula, but I guess it's okay since I upgraded it. You can even track him with the little thingies. I dodged. Wait, what? How did that happen? Hmm, curious. I guess being cursed means we lose some of our max HP. Yeah, looks like it's the case. I was just trying to fight him normally to see his movements at the end. Uh, it's interesting. It reminds me like that root elite that would block your shots against it. What is there in this room to do? There's nothing, you just look at the statues. What's in the next room? Locked. <laughs> okay. Hey, I'm really starting to doubt the vision of the developers for this game because this is not really open-ended. I mean, look at this. I've explored basically three big rooms and that's it because the rest of them are closed or I couldn't advance in them. Weird design. Very big maps but very limited space in them or very limited options to explore them. Yeah, the developers made them trying to be out like a maze. Here they come. Strange enough, this is a good weapon against them.
Yeah, they just made the problem worse. As you can see, the problem in this room is you cannot see those stupid flying creatures, and they just poke you with their spears. I cannot say this game is hard. There's just much more tedious to do. Oh, a ring. Hey, warrior ring. Increase my damage by 50%. Okay. Warring, yes. Oh yeah, this gun is very good in this area because you just poison everything and you have to go for the poison to get to you. Oh, so much for aiming. I guess that's, that was an elite enemy. Man, I'm so used to the enemies on Nerud being so tanky, so dealing so much damage, being so annoying. But these guys, these guys are so easy to deal with. What is the Fey Needle supposed to do? do I, am I supposed to... Oh, that more power per second. I guess you're just supposed to hold it in your hand. I'm not a fan of this because look at how they extend the game time. Instead of creating an interesting dungeon, they just make it a maze with locked doors. Making it very, very hard to navigate. Because you'd think, hey, there is a reward there. There is a reward there. No, it's just a dead end. And then you have to open the map, waste more time. Okay, game. Well, it's, it's a pretty castle. Maybe we'll live here after we are done with our adventures. I hate you. I, this is a puzzle, 100%. It looks like a puzzle, smells like a puzzle. Uh, let's finish the rest of the dungeon before we do the puzzle, because I, I have a feeling it will, it will not be a fun puzzle. Wait. Man, so much backtracking. Not even Remnant 1 had so much backtracking. Here we go. <laughs> okay. I guess that's fair. I guess shoot that in the leg. That was rough. Wait a minute. Did I just kill an elite and only get 40 scrap? Oh man, the rewards in this game are abysmal. How can you kill an elite and only get 40 scrap? That's scraping the bottom of the barrel for your Dog door. <laughs> That's the master key. I need the skeleton key. Who has the skeleton key? If this is another dead end, I will be very, very upset. Here is another dead end. This place has too many holes and eroded walls. So, their big design for this game was a big maze. Then I will go there. 
This is really this is the intended design. And yeah, that's a locked door, and the locked doors don't even show on the map. Yeah, okay, uh, I don't know. I don't know. When I do my full review of the game, this is sort of stuff that will drag down the score even more. I thought Nerud had some problems, but this is ridiculous. This is way above Nerud. Look at this, I've been playing for 11 minutes. And the only reason I cannot have fun in the game is because it's a puzzle game. Open the minimap, close the minimap, look at the doors, look at the pathways. No, it's like... Okay, fine, let's do the puzzle. Well, it's slightly cursed. I think they have a consumable for that. Oh, black dark grenade, I like what that sounds. Oh, it's a statue, oh no. Okay, do you want to play a little game? No, I don't want to play a little game. Man. Yeah. Silly game. It's easy to do, but annoying because look at this. You have to make a mistake in order to f unfreeze the game. Otherwise, the computer doesn't do anything. And whatever I do, I will lose because... Okay, whatever. Let's just win. I mean, unless you get a very, very specific start, you're not going to win. And you're going to just play forever. I can use that. A bow, my first bow, royal hunting bow. Charge for more damage, perfect release after charge for maximum damage. 80 damage, that's not bad. One on, okay. Not bad stats. Actually, the, the stats are pretty good. I guess the only problem will be the ammo. And the perfect... Yeah, the perfect list is over there. Okay, so I did that, and let me just say that the developer who did this is an idiot. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay, let's just go on. I'm just so tired of being upset about the game because it's wasting, it's really wasting my time. If I didn't do videos for this, I'd refund the game. I would never have bought it in the first place. I mean, how much time can you waste on stupid puzzles that might give you something but might not give you something? Really? Come on! Waste my time with stupid puzzles that you already completed, but no, you have to complete them only this specific way in order for you to get this specific reward, in order for you to understand that this is the only... Almost dies. Almost died. Nice. Okay, so let's look at the armor. Probably it will cheer me up a little bit. Mm. Nice and heavy. Well, sort of heavy. I mean, it's... Oh, yeah, this is super heavy. 57 armor compared to what? 83. 44. Yeah, it's not even really heavy armor. It's just armor. I guess it has a lot of resistance against fire and bleed, so that makes it very good. Do I like it? Not really. Will I use it? I guess we can use it to be more thematic for this place. I guess you can wear the little gloves. Okay, I guess this this is more or less working. 
Hello, welcome back. So after being very very upset and eh, whatever, I just went to the other side of the map. This is my map. Let's go inside. Yeah, I'm not going to talk about that puzzle anymore because man, you, know. you know I thought Nerud was bad, but I think Nerud is the best planet in the game just because the puzzle solutions are at least of a fun variety. You jump on something or do something, but there figure out a very very obscure combination which means you not have, not only have to win you have to win once and then you you have to actually prevent the enemy from winning in that puzzle and then you can do something hey what is the flashlight here oh yeah it's l Oh. Quite nice. I think this this is the only area I actually needed on the route we didn't need a flashlight. Let me see the great sewers. What's great for them? No, this is just frustrating. I mean, it, it's pure frustration, 100%. Imagine if you're playing this on hardcore or if you're playing this with a friend. And... Okay, let me show you what happens if you just don't fight and run through the entire dungeon. I mean, if you're supposed to climb stuff, you cannot even see the enemy in front of you, much less fight back against the enemy. I think they just designed the area and then they tested it in gameplay and said, okay, this is... This is acceptable. Not in my book. Don't spare the intruders. Yeah, 100% atmosphere, 0% fun and gameplay. <laughs> Especially if you. you Get in a small room and someone just throws a bomb on your face. <laughs> See how much faster and how much easier this was with just me running through the dungeon. <laughs> Instead of trying to be fancy and kill everyone, it's just be sneaky. Good helmet. Okay, that was it, that was it, okay. Let's go and fight the boss, which I'm sure it will be a very decent and reasonable boss. Oh, don't tell me it's one of those floating, big floating things. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, the amount of unique bosses in this game is super low. It's just one of those upscale things and now it's supposed to look scary and... Uh -huh. Are you joking me? No, this is really how the boss fight is supposed to be. If you fall down you have to go all the way up again and also attract a lot of enemies.
and you cannot go through there, so you have to jump. I guess that's, that's how the game is supposed to be played. You are going to fight and avoid a lot of magical balls. Game, can I fight with the boss itself? I run out of ammo completely. Don't go down the ladder! I never told you to go down the ladder. Incredibly oh passive this fight was, how incredibly badly. I, I was not even fighting a boss in this battle, I was just. I, I cannot express how disappointed I am in this game. What have you done with Remnant 2? I was shooting balls for 5 minutes. Ball shooter, the game. Well, I guess I shouldn't have done that. Now I don't have access to the lovely thing anymore. Wow, this video will require a lot of editing. You won't believe how much editing and how much time I waste on stuff like this. What should have been a 20 minute adventure, sometimes or most of the times, will turn out to be one hour of playtime for me. And this is this is incredible. I guess it's very good that I started with Nerud because if I would have started with this, I wouldn't 
I think I would have said, oh no, this is too much, I hate it. Ooh, okay, let's go back to War 13, let's see what they gave us. And let's calm down. We have a bow, we have an armor set. And we basically saw everything that was in the trailers. Okay, let's see what we can craft with it. Probably it's going to be a weapon, and I think that was supposed to be one of the more unique boss or what? You all right. So Voltanic Rundur, slow moving ball, pulls a shock, or last twenty seconds. Overcharge. So I guess you now have your own ball. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. So because we love that mechanic so much, you can actually use it right now. Who would use this? This is one of the worst ideas ever. I mean, unless you're fighting a lot of little enemies, there's no reason for you to launch your ball into the crowd. <laughs> Yeah, that was magical. See you next time. Bye bye.